Pick a deck. Deck one or deck two. If you chose deck one, this message of guidance from Spirit is just for you. Okay, so let's see what guidance they have in terms of your challenge, focus and advice and guidance. Okay, four cards have jumped out of the deck for your challenge right now. And here's why. Okay, you have the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This is such conflicting energy because I feel like on the one hand, you've got a lot to celebrate. You're getting a lot of attention, but it's causing a lot of conflict. And I feel like it's causing a lot of conflict because I feel like there's someone interested in you in a romantic sense. And it's someone that you have a very strong connection with. But for some reason, the challenge here is there are too many other people getting involved in this connection with you. And they are throwing their opinions on this person who you have this connection with. And it's become a challenge because you care about what they think too much. So it's time for you to focus on what you want from this situation and not what everybody else wants so let's see what your focus is knight of wands yeah okay there's a lot about your intuition here queen of cups is all about your intuition the knight of wands here is about you going with your gut going with the flow this is fire energy it's passionate it's movement it's action so keep moving forward with this connection with this person regardless of what anyone else says or thinks Go with your gut here. If you feel it's a positive vibe, go with your gut, okay? Keep going. King of Wands. I feel like this person might be someone who is a bit older than you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sag Sagittarius for sure. But I just feel like this person has grown up. I feel like they've matured a lot. So your advice and guidance from Spirit is... Okay, you've got the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands here. So the Two of Wands is about taking action, making a choice and making a decision. It's forward planning as well. And it's all around a partnership for sure. And then you have the Three of Wands, which is about taking action. So again, you've got two cards here about taking action. So I feel like spirits come through really strong for you, deck one saying that whatever this connection is no matter what anyone else thinks or feels go with your gut this is your relationship if you chose deck two this message of guidance from spirit is just for you so let's see what their challenge focus and advice and guidance from spirit is for you right now so your challenge deck two is the queen of pentacles She's very together. She's got everything she needs. Financial uh, control, emotional control. She's got everything in order. So I just feel like things are a little bit up in the air for you at the moment. And you just feel a little bit out of control. And things feel out of order, out of balance. So let's see what comes through as your focus. What you need to focus on right now is the Eight of Wands. Okay. So I feel like there's going to be some information coming to you that's going to start moving things for you in the right direction. Eight of Wands is a really positive energy of a good news, swift movement, things starting to, to move for you. So whatever's not been happening for you, just keep focusing. Use the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She's focused. She's driven. She's ambitious. She's Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. As I say, Capricorn. I have the Devil card here at the base, which is Capricorn energy for sure. Eight of Pentacles. Keep working hard, okay? So your focus is definitely to keep working hard. Keep moving forward with this situation because things are going to start moving and happening for you really, really quickly when you focus your intention on where you want this to go. So I just feel like all of these thoughts, all of this situation that's been out of balance just needs you to discipline yourself, put a plan in place, focus and have that end goal 
in in sight so that you know where you're going to put yourself back on the right path oh gosh and then your advice and guidance here is the ten of cups it's bringing everything back into alignment for you there's the ultimate emotional balance here for you soulmate energy happy home happy life everything coming back into balance but this is going to take you to focus and plan to make this work and I do feel like it's worth the hard work and effort because whatever this situation is that you're working towards or you're trying to achieve with the eight of wands, ten of cups, the eight of pentacles as well, it's all about keep going, keep moving forward with that focus, with that intention, with that goal in, in sight and you will have this good news which is going to bring everything into balance, harmony and alignment for you. Just a really, really positive energy. So stay focused and get that plan of action in place.